All right, we're looking at geometry C3 in IXL. The first question, which angle is complementary to angle BDC? So B, trace it with your mouse. BDC is this angle right here, and the one that's complementary is the other one that helps it make a 90 degree. So the name of that little sliver of an angle up top would be ADB. And I look here, I see ADB, that's this angle here. Trace it with your mouse, ADB. The middle letter is always the vertex. So there's the first one. See how long it takes to get this to an 80. Vertical angles, vertical angles are directly across. So another example that doesn't address this, actually there's only one pair of vertical angles in this problem. Uh, two and four are not directly across because they're not made by the same two lines. So if you look at this long line here, and this long line here, the only two angles that are directly across are three and one. So the angle that's vertical to three is directly across from three, and they're the same number of degrees. So that's angle one. And uh, let's move forward. <clears throat> Which angle is vertical to angle AFC? So whenever you have three letters, vertical angles have to have the same middle letter because that's the vertex. That's why they're called vertical. A, F, C is this angle right here, and it's made by this line that I'm following with my mouse and this line. AFC is vertical. That's this big angle over here is directly across from this big angle over here. So the way to name this one would be EFD. If I look down here, I don't see EFD. So let's go the other way. DFE, and they share the same middle letter. F, DFE. And the only thing that two vertical angles are going to have in common is their middle letter. They'll not have any other letters in common. And you'll see this is AFC, and that's DFE. The only letter they share is that F. All right. <clears throat> Complementary to angle 4 means it's going to make a 90-degree angle. And this right here is a 90, which means 1 and 2 are complementary, but that's not part of the problem. 4 and 5 are complementary because they both are right next to each other. And if I added them up, I would have this right angle right here, and I'd be able to put a little red square in that one as well. So angle four and angle five are complementary. And let's see, we're at a 36. Uh, complementary to CFD. So that means it's going to make another 90 degree angle. This is CFD. That's the little sliver. So we got to name this big one here. And I'm going to name that with three letters, EFD or DFE. Uh, DFE looks like the winner there. And now we're up to 43. Which angles are complementary to each other? Okay, um, well, it's got to have one of the, these are the only two angles on this whole page that are complementary. So it's going to either, it's going to have some form of CFB or BFC. So let's take a look. There's BFC, uh, CFA. I don't see anything else that has BFC or CFB. So that's this one here. CFB and AFB. So AFB is this one, and CFB is this little sliver. Together they make a 90 degree angle. Uh, those are the only two angles on this page that are uh, even add up to 90. So we're at a 49. Which angles are congruent? Congruent means that they're directly across from each other, and the only angles on this assignment that are congruent are vertical. And in order to be vertical, they have to have the same middle letter or the same vertex. So uh, let's see. This has a C and a C, so it's a possibility. This is a D and E, not a possibility. This is an E and a C, nope. E and a D, nope. This is the only one that's possible. Let's trace them with our mouse and make sure. E, C, G, E, C, G is this angle right here. And it's directly across from F, C, D. So these two angles right here are vertical to each other, and they are congruent. So look at that. Just like that, we're at a 55, and we've answered seven questions. Let's take a look at angles that are vertical to each other. So in order to be vertical, they got to have the same middle letter. That's the vertex. Uh, so let's take a look. we got D and A, no. A and E, no. Middle letters are different, but here they're the same, and here they're the same. So we do have something to look at now we got to take a look and one of the things i notice the vertical angles will only share a middle letter in common uh, this has be and 
This one also has BE. So I promise that these two angles right here are most likely adjacent, which means they're next to each other. Let's go draw them out real quick. BEC is this little guy here, BEC. And AEB is this one, AEB. So we're talking about these two angles right here. Those are adjacent, they're not vertical. The correct answer is this one, H-A-E, let's chase it or trace it with the mouse, H-A-E is this one here. My mouse is sitting on that angle. And D-A-I is down here, D-A-I. Those two are vertical and terrific. We're at a 60, okay. Which angles are congruent? Again, we're looking for vertical angles. It's the only angles that are going to be congruent, which means they got to share a middle letter. This has an E and this has an E. That could be a possibility. This one has a B. This one has a B. Could be a possibility. This is an E and a B. No, E and a B. No. So it's not these, but it could be this one or it could be this one. Let's go see which one is going to have opposite. Uh, they're going to be vertical. That means the only letter they're going to have in common is the vertex. Right away, I see that this has an E and an E, but also has a D. So just like the last problem, these two are going to be adjacent. DEA is this angle up here. There's DEA. And then CED is this one right down here. CED. So those are adjacent. They are not vertical. This one's vertical. EBH is right there. My mouse is in that angle. And G or sorry, EBF, my mouse is in that angle, EBF, and GBH is down here. So these are the two angles that are vertical to each other. And let's see, we're at a 64. Angles that are vertical, to when they're numbered like this, it's really simple. Uh, I'm not even going to look at the possible choices yet. Directly across, 6 and 8 are vertical, 7 and 5 are vertical, 2 and 4, 3 and 1. Let's take a look. Are 6 and 5 vertical? Nope, those are adjacent. 9 and 11? Uh, no, yeah, 9 and 11 are vertical for sure. 1 and 10, nope, they are not even related. 10 and 6, nope, just 9 and 11 are directly across from each other. There's a 68. Which angle is adjacent to number 6? Well, there's two possibilities here. Adjacent is next to, so it could be a 5 or it could be a 1. Doesn't matter which one you choose, they're both going to be correct. <clears throat> which angle is vertical to 1? Now they're getting really easy. They're just numbered directly across from 1 is vertical and directly across from one is angle four. Uh, which angle is vertical to angle AFB? So if I find AFB, that's this narrow angle right here. And so I'm gonna move my mouse directly across. That's the angle that's vertical. That is called either CFD or DFC. It doesn't matter the order, I'll call it DFC. Uh, it, will it will be the same either way. Look at that, we got 78. One more question and we're done. Which angle is vertical to BGD? I promise you the middle letter is going to be a G because they have to have a common vertex. B, G, D. Look at that. Follow this angle, this line directly down. E, G, A. B, G, D is this big angle down here, so I need the big angle down here. And E, G, A or A, G, E. Either of those will work, and it doesn't matter if you do it lowercase or uppercase. <clears throat> that was wonderful, and we got an 81, and if you want to move forward, not too bad.